the game can see the boxing boys. Both uh, teams and, uh, and uh, Mira's uh, promoter, Mr. Honda, but what a heck of a fight. I mean, it was an incredible, incredible fight. This fight, uh, like Hoppin said, should have been stopped like three times, you know. It was just an amazing fight. Uh, the attendance uh, today was 11,274, uh, which was incredible, amazing. I think um, it was uh, a pleasure working with uh, Rock Nation, with our co-promoters. Um, once again, we want to thank all our sponsors for making everything uh, happen. Uh, for spreading the word all across the world. Thank you very much. Uh, and the main event, the main event uh, lived up to its expectations. It was a terrific, terrific fight. Um, I believe Kodo still has a lot left in the tank. He faced a Canelo that was stronger, and uh, I think a lot of people were were surprised uh, in Canelo's waist movement and uh, his side-to-side -side movements. And so, this fight here is just going to take Canelo to a whole new level. I mean, these are the types of fights that you must have to uh, to to give you the experience necessary to continue facing the very best. So, we want to thank Canelo, uh, we want to thank Miguel Cotto and his entire team. Like I said before, he, uh, he demonstrated, uh, he demonstrated tonight that he still has a lot left in the tank. And obviously there's no shame in, uh, in a defeat. Uh, he, may, he, faced the, uh, he faced the younger lion. He faced uh, uh, a Canelo that was uh, hungry for victory. And I want to make a special announcement to everyone that Canelo's next fight will be in May. We are locking in those dates for next year, Cinco de Mayo and September 16th on those weekends, so Canelo will fight once again in May and September. Um, what else? Questions? Anybody? Questions? Before the fighters come out? May 2nd against who? Well, that, that's, exactly, that's exactly what we're going to sit down and talk about. Um, it's very interesting because there's the Triple G fight, there's obviously other fights at 154. I have to uh, get a feel of what Canelo uh, wants to do, uh, what his body tells him to, uh, making the weight. Uh, he made 154 and a half, I believe it was. So the question is, is he going to stay at 154? Uh, is he going to stay at 160? Those are the things we're going to talk about. Well, Oscar, but, can I just ask you, you say, you know, you've said in the whole promotion you want the best to fight the best, and clearly this fight was almost sold as the winner fights him, and now all of a sudden we'll see if he fights him next. I mean, how, you know, the fans are all talking about wanting to see that GGG fight. How do you, you know, rationalize putting on another fight as opposed to the fight that the fans are I'm not saying about? I'm not saying he's going to fight somebody else. I'm not saying he's going to, I'm not announcing anything. I'm gonna let him rest. We're gonna talk about it. Is he gonna fight Triple G? Absolutely, of course. It's not a question. Canelo, Canelo is willing to fight anybody. The very best. That's who he is, that's his character. That's why he's the guy right now, today. He's made his mark and Canelo, uh, is is the guy who is um, who is on top of the sport now, and uh, and and the fans deserve the best fights, and that's what we deliver. Oscar, Oscar. Hey, Oscar. Yes. Uh, right here. Uh, 
what does this mean for Golden Boy Promotions? Uh, this, you guys are coming off a kind of a little losing streak uh, with your last two big fights, and uh, this has to be big for the company, doesn't it? Well, of course, uh, of course, it's big. I mean, it's huge. It's huge. Um, but it's 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 much bigger than Golden Boy Promotions. It's huge for boxing because this is a new era in our sport and, 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 and get used to this right here. Exciting fights and the fights that the fans want to see. That, that's what we're going to deliver. And yes, it's, it was huge for Golden Boy Promotions, absolutely. I mean, I was, <laughs> I was crossing my fingers uh, every single second and every single minute of every round, believe me. But you win some, you lose some. I mean, that's, that's what happens when you fight the best, when you're willing to put up your fighters against the very best. I mean, I, I, I sometimes, I'm sometimes confused because a lot of people tell me, well, why did you put him against that tough guy? I mean, don't fans want to see good fights and competitive fights, you know? So we're going to continue doing what we're doing. And that's, and that's pleasing the fans. That's the bottom line. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I mean, Canelo clearly won. That, that's a fact. Uh, I really didn't see the uh, scorecards. Uh, yes, you can, you can make a strong argument that the scores could have been not to, uh, not to spread apart, not too wide. Uh, but yes, Canelo clearly won. No doubt about it. But I'm not a judge. I, I, I don't judge fights. Uh, but it, yes, it was a great fight, and uh, Canelo clearly won. Mr. Dolaoya, when I came in, you were talking about Miguel Cotto's performance. I know he's not your boxer, but obviously, on your experience, what can you say about Miguel Cotto's future? Does he has still something to I, I, give? I, yes, I strongly believe Miguel Cotto has a, a lot to, uh, to give to the sport. He proved it tonight against a young guy who's 25 years old, and I mean, he, uh, Canelo fought a, 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 a terrific fight uh, against a terrific fighter, and Cotto uh, shouldn't walk around with his head up, with his head down. He should be proud of his performance. Um, he did an excellent job. I mean, Cotto can go up against anybody, and uh, you know he can become world champion once again. I mean, that's. He's, he still has a lot left in the tank. Awesome. Oski being quite outspoken recently about Mayweather and, and the lack of entertainment that some of his fights provided. Do you feel that a fight like tonight did some, went some way to maybe reversing some of the damage you feel was done to boxing in, in Mayweather? Well, look, I mean, people, people, people were eager to see um, an exciting fight. You know, after the uh, after the disappointment uh, uh, with Mayweather and Pacquiao uh, of lack of action, uh, you know, people were were eager to see a good fight, and uh, and that's what both fighters delivered. So uh, you know, the fans were happy, the fans were on their feet, they were cheering. They it was an exciting night of boxing. Um, you know. Overall, it was an exciting fight of uh, night of boxing. Last question right here. Hi, right here. Uh, Oscar, what about our rematch with Mayweather? Nobody believes he's retired. He will uh, try that record of Rocky Marciano. What about our rematch with Canelo? Well, uh, we, we would be open to it. Absolutely, I'm sure. I'm sure Canelo uh, will uh, will love uh, the opportunity. Uh, as like I said, right now Canelo is the man right now, and that's exactly why I said we're fighting him in May, and we're fighting him in September. 
uh, whether it's uh, here in Las Vegas, whether it's anywhere around the world, he is fighting in May and September. And, uh, you know, uh, if, if Mayweather wants to fight him, uh, and then, you know, we can discuss that uh, in the future. Let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me uh, call up to the podium our, our the, the, the co-promoters uh, of this event who did a, a wonderful job and it was a pleasure working with them uh, by Rob Nation, Michael Yober. Hello everybody. Let me first congratulate uh, Team Canelo um, on a great fight tonight. I also want to congratulate Oscar and his entire team at Golden Boy. Uh, we've had a terrific experience over the last couple of months working together. Uh, he is a first-class guy, a great promoter, uh, and a great friend. Tonight, obviously, was very disappointing for Miguel. Uh, he will not be addressing the media, but we have Freddie here that will talk on behalf of Miguel. If there's any questions, we'll take those as well. Thank you so much. Hey, Freddie, yes. were you surprised how much bigger Canelo looked in the ring against Cotto? <laughs> uh, yeah, he was, he was bigger, but um, I, I still thought that my guy found a good fight. Uh, or we had a game plan to help box him, and um, I thought we did that. I thought his defense was impeccable. I thought he blocked a lot of shots. I think they gave uh, some a lot of points for not scoring a lot of shots, but he, he landed a lot of combinations. Uh, I thought he fought a good fight. It was a good close fight, good competitive fight, good for boxing, but I, I thought we had the edge at the end, but um, it was the other way, and um, that's life. Mr. Roche, uh, what do you think uh, about Miguel Cotto's now future after this fight? 35 years old, very much wars. What what do you think he should do right now, and why why didn't he came? Why didn't he come to the press conference? Personal situation or something else? Or something, whatever. He's really he's disappointed, and um, you know, I and he felt that we outscored Canelo in the side. We slid a lot of combinations, and we our defense was again very good, but. Um, you know, the, he's, he hears enough, but he's, he's just dis, disappointed right now. And um, the thing is, uh, I thought he fought a good fight. I think he has a, a future of a couple more fights in him, if they're the right fights. Uh, but uh, we're getting close to the end. And, uh, but um, he's had a great career, and um, I'd like to say maybe, maybe, maybe a rematch, but we'll, we'll see. Two, two things. Uh, do you think Miguel uh, didn't throw the left hook enough? I know he was throwing a ton of jabs in there tonight, but it seemed like after a while he maybe had him set up for a left hook. And then secondly, I wanted, and he didn't throw it. And then secondly, I wanted to ask you, can you kind of break down in your opinion how Canelo would match up with Golovkin? Um, well, I, I, you know, the thing is, our plan was out boxing and our plan was out jab. We, we, we thought the jab would work well and it did in the fight. And, um, we weren't going after the hook as much as usual because we we, we weren't working behind the jab and then the, the right hand behind that uh, worked at some, sometimes, but not, not enough. But um, maybe we should have went with the hook a little bit more. But the thing is, uh, we did, you know, we fought the hard fight. We did the best we could. And um, uh, what do I think about uh, Canelo and who? Triple G, uh, that's a great fight. I mean, you got two tough guys, two real strong guys. Uh, both guys can punch very well. Um, I, I'd like to see that fight. Freddie, Freddie, was there anything? Was there anything you felt like you uh, Miguel could have done differently or or done more to pull out the fight? And what was what what was what did you think of Canelo's performance tonight? Well, he fought a good fight, but the thing is, I, I thought Miguel. Um, was leading the jab very well, and then, but he was giving up the slack, and I thought he should have backed him up a little bit more. I, th I would have thought we had more success with that, but um, 
Uh, but he, I, I still think he outscored him along the way. But the thing is, um, you know, it, again, it was very competitive, good fight, good for boxing, um, good for the boxing world for sure. Hi, Freddie, right here. If you could talk about the, the size factor, because obviously Canelo swelled up a little bit. Cotto wasn't able to really move him with his punches, it seemed. Do you think that it'd be wise for Cotto to go back to 54? Is that what you'd like him to do in his next fight? Yeah, it's definitely an option that we'll pursue, uh, definitely, because, uh, you know, going into the fight, uh, he weighs like 159 and his opponent weighs like 175. And, and it, it, he was a bigger, stronger guy, and, you know, and uh, we did have trouble backing him up. Um, he came forward a lot in the fight, but I don't think just coming forward wins fights, though. I mean, I, I, you know, I know he threw a lot of punches, I know he landed some good shots, but we blocked him a lot of shots also. I mean, I, I still think that we outscored him number-wise, but, you know, again, again, like Oscar, I'm not a judge, but I, I thought he won. But. We'll have a long talk about that, and um, we will make the right decision because 
I care about my fighters, and uh, if it's over, it's over. And uh, if, uh, you know, but um, I guess we'll have to see on that one. Thank you very much. Thank you. The question is, when did you feel that you had the advantage over Miguel Cotto? And Saul said, from the first round, from the opening round, you know, I, I felt that I was uh, stronger than him. Uh, I was able to uh, move around very, very well, uh, control the fight. I felt that I was winning the fight. I made a miss a lot. Uh, but yes, from the opening bow, I just felt that uh, I, I had the advantage and that I was going to win the fight and uh, I won the fight. Yes. Congratulations, Canelo. Um, you know, this fight was contested at a catch weight of 155, but you know, that was with Kodo. What do you think is your best weight going forward after having your training camp? Me siento muy bien. Me siento fuerte en mi peso. Me siento fuerte, lo marco bien, entonces eh, yo creo que los resultados se dan en las peleas, ¿no? Y, y me siento cómodo en este peso. I feel really good. I feel really strong at this weight. I, I can make the weight easily, uh, and the results are there. You know, this this is my weight class, uh, and I, I made weight very uh, very well. Canelo, buenas noches. Antes que nada, felicidades por tu por tu pelea y el segundo título en los 160 ahora. Eh, terminando tu pelea, te preguntaban acerca de Jenner y Golovkin, y me gustó tu actitud, dijiste antes no podía hablar de esto, pero ahora sí puedo hacerlo. Eh, me encantaría que reiteraras lo que dijiste arriba, viene una nueva era del Canelo, y Golovkin no te preocupa. Así es, eh, antes de la pelea me preguntaban mucho, yo respeto mucho a los peleadores que tengo enfrente, 
eh, respeto mucho eh, lo que viene, ¿no? el rival que viene, la pelea que viene, por respeto a todos. Pero ahora pueden preguntarme y les puedo contestar, ¿no? Eh, como lo contesté, Golovkin es un gran peleador, es un gran amigo mío, lo conozco. Eh, pero estoy dispuesto a pelear con quien sea, yo no le tengo miedo a nadie. Y como lo dije, ahorita mismo me vuelvo a subir, me pongo los guantes y me aviento otros dos cerrados. <risa> The question, the question was, you know, you were asked the question about uh, uh, Gennady Golovkin after the fight. Uh, can you repeat what you said and, and when you felt? Uh, and Saul said yes. Uh, a lot of people before this fight happened were asking me about Golovkin. And I didn't want to answer because I had respect for the person I was in a fight tonight. But now, now they can ask me. And uh, I know Golovkin very well. He's a friend of mine. And uh, like I said before, and I'll say it again, uh, I have respect for him, but I'm not afraid of anybody. I'll fight anybody, anytime. I'm not afraid of anybody. And if you guys don't believe me, I'll get back in the ring, put the gloves on, and I'll go another 12 rounds. Canelo, uh, ahead of the 12th round, you were clearly ahead on points, but you continued to come out very aggressively. How important was it for you to either try and get the knockout or at least continue to put on a good show? Sí, no, era importante ¿no? dejar bien en claro la, la victoria y por eso es que eh, mi esquina me mandó a ser más agresivo y por eso es que lo hice, ¿no? para dejar bien en claro la victoria. I wanted, I wanted to leave no doubt that it was a clear victory and I knew that I just, I had to keep being aggressive. So my corner told me, look, keep, go out there, be more aggressive, keep doing what you're doing and that's the reason. I wanted a clear victory, I didn't want any doubts. Hello, Canelo. You fought a few fighters that used a lot of movement in the ring, like Cotto tried to do tonight, like Aristan de Lara, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Can you talk about how those fights, that experience, helped prepare you for this fight against Miguel Cotto tonight? Sí, sí, no, yo creo que todo es experiencia, ¿no? Esas peleas me ayudaron para, para esta pelea, como lo dije, me hicieron llegar siendo un peleador más sólido, con más experiencia, y creo que eso me ayudó para, para esta pelea, y como lo dije, ¿no? que pondría todo de, de mí arriba del cuadrilátero para poder ganar esta pelea porque era importante, era importante como todas las otras. Yes, you're correct. You're correct. Those those fights did help me with the experience. I feel more of a complete fighter now, a solid fighter. And uh, I said that I was willing to do whatever it takes uh, to win this fight because it was important to me. And that's what I did. But yes, you're correct. <laughs> Uh, those other fights with those other fighters prepared me for this moment. You see the lock in, in May or what? He's ready. He's ready. There it is. Canelo. Canelo, right here. First of all, you're the new middleweight lineal champion. Congratulations. Thank you. You are going to be the A side going forward. Are you going to continue to demand catch weights or will you go up to 160 to fight your opponents? Bueno, ahorita vamos a descansar. Veremos qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Pero lo que sí te aseguro es que haremos lo mejor para que la gente siga disfrutando de buenas peleas. He says, right now, right now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest. That's what I want. I'm going to rest. Uh, but I will say this. I'm going to continue to do uh, my best so that the people can enjoy my fights and enjoy boxing. Okay? Last question, please. Last. Um, what do you think about Gennady Golovkin's self-described Mexican style? Do you think you'll have the full back, backing of the Mexican people when you fight him? No, bueno, esperemos. Esperemos a que se haga la pelea y que pase. Well, we'll wait and see when we make that fight. We'll wait and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gracias. Thank you very much, Chas.